Hi, welcome to the Temenos video series. I'm creating a bunch of videos for you to go through and understand the basic concepts of Temenos before you decide to come into one of our labs or academies or conferences. I hope you've seen the first uh, video that we shot. It was a Pecha Kucha style quick introduction to Temenos. Now what we're going to do is dive deep into the lab of the Temenos. So let's start with this. This is the opening slide. It's from the September 2012 Temenos. And what you're seeing here is a bunch of my friends. And you might know most of them. They're all agile coaches, or lean agile coaches. And you see a shared vision and then multiple sets of influence maps for their exploration into the Temenos lab technique. Let's look at the model now. Okay? This is the model. Some of you may have already been approached and used this model in your work, but I'll walk you through um, in, in a very basic and fundamental manner. We start off by creating a base for all the, platform, uh, for all the people to understand their personal mythology. Uh, we use the influence map technique and look at what is the source of influence for these participants. So when you look at this picture, the line that's farthest away from the people, that's the first one, their personal mythology using the influence map technique. Then we do a clean slate exercise for them. The clean slate exercise is about understanding their personal stories and strategies for success and also self-sabotage. So we use the same technique, but this time it's about trying to understand how they um, sabotage themselves and how the, they work with and without the container to sabotage themselves. Once the clean slate exercise is done, the individual is now ready to receive a, a calling or a personal vision. Um, some of you may have been a part of this exercise with me. I use the, the stamp metaphor, and we'll go more into that in the advanced series. But for now, what we have done is we've created the platform with the personal mythology. We are using the influence map technique to build on that by creating a clean slate exercise. And now we're doing the personal vision for each of the participants. Having done the personal vision for each of the participants, the group or the container, the Temenos, is ready to look at its shared vision. And as you can see here, these people have done a shared vision. But what I did was I created another reflection container between the personal vision state and the compelling shared vision. And that's the clean slate at a, at a collective level. So if you do the same exercise that we do for individuals, the same technique of influence maps, but now it's at a collective level. Finally, the group is ready for a compelling shared vision. And that's what you see here. That's the uh, influence map closest to them. We use the same technique, but this time we pick the symbols and text from the influence maps and the personal visions of each of the participants. Once the container has a shared vision, it's pretty simple after that. It's about going into the being and doing of the transformation project. All right? Once again, you see here the actual Temenos lab with its layers of influence maps, starting from personal mythology, clean slate, personal vision, clean slate at a collective level, and then the final compelling shared vision. And here is the model. I'll do a quick recap of what we want to do in the lab. So when you come here, this is what you're coming here for. It's about activation. What are we trying to activate? We're trying to activate the inner desire of your vision to come out like a flame. Right? So you can see here, this is my own personal interpretation of what happens. There is a source of inner fire for each archetype, and it comes out in the form of a vision. Here is how I see the shared vision playing out. So this is activation of the personal vision, and now we're talking about activation of a compelling shared vision. This is a shared vision of a, a, a bunch of great friends who are clients of mine at a big bank. And you can see how they have picked up symbols. These symbols come from the symbols of the influence map, of the personal vision, of the participants. All right? OK, move on. Another thing we want to activate. So remember, what we're trying to do is we're trying to activate. We activate the vision, and then we want to activate discernment. Discernment is about staying in the vision. Having activated the vision, it's about staying in the vision. And in the Temenos model, having activated either the personal or the compelling uh, uh, shared vision, 
the individual or the members of the container operate in three modes. They get distracted, they are seduced by fantasy, or they stay in their vision. And what we are trying to do through the activation of discernment is like as if there's another monitor, a monitor that's watching you as you migrate in your head from distraction to fantasy to life purpose. What do I do? So I use an app. It's called LeanKit, by the way, leankit.com. It's a bunch of great friends of mine, Chris Hefley, John Terry, and Stephen Franklin that made it, and I love being a part of them. I use LeanKit to track every thought, action, decision, or, or work that I have to do in these containers. The containers of distraction are what I notice and just leave. The containers of fantasy are what I acknowledge but stay away from and don't get seduced. The containers of vision are where I focus my energy. And my own personal training of discernment is to be able to rule my mind. One of the great statistics I learned very young is that our brain has 70,000 thoughts a day. And my attempt is to rule my mind by creating as much as possible space for vision-oriented thoughts and, and just notice distractions and keep them aside, notice fantasies and keep them aside. So once again, we want to activate our discernment ability. All right, moving on. At the Temenos lab, I use one technique, simple. It's called influence maps. You're seeing here the influence maps of a great friend and participant of Temenos. It's pretty simple. Introspection, visualization, and articulation. Introspection, step one, is to go inside yourself and to look at the stories that have made you. Influential events, people, books, exercises, games you played, people you made, uh, friends, enemies, your spouses, children, everyone is here. Once you've understood what are the key stories, I now like my participants to visualize that. And I use visuals because I think visuals tell a greater story of us human beings than um, maybe text. And you'll see, we have uh, another video coming up called Temenos, the Maps Container. And you'll see why I chose Influence and Maps as the, the, as the title for these techniques. But primarily, across the steps of Temenos, I want to use a simple technique so that the focus is not on the technique or the tool, but on the power of the Temenos, the power of the storytelling container. Once again, simple technique. Influence maps using three steps, introspection, visualization, and articulation. Here is a sample that I want to share with you. It's my own personal influence map that I did a couple of years ago. You can see how I have laid out the questions that are central to my life. I've laid out images of people who have influenced me or books or concepts that have influenced me. I've laid out images of places that I've been. And through that, you can see what is my archetype, what is my mental model. But you can also see blanks. You can see spaces of uh, uh, blankness in the influence map. These are areas of life that I'm still exploring. My own internal introspection has not complete, and I don't think it'll ever be complete. So what I've found is that I'm really not interested in a 100% match between the life story and the introspection and articulation. I'm just interested in a mythology of the individual, some way for me to understand a basic snapshot of the individual's mental model. Now, I'm going to talk about the influencer's mantra. I hope you remember from the previous uh, presentation that I spoke about the Temenos having myths, forces, archetypes, dynamics, right? How do we bring all of this together? That's the influencer's mantra. How do you create a, a story that brings all these, you know, like vast amounts of data? Like if you remember the first slide, there were like about 50 influence maps for six people. How do you bring all of this together? All right. The way I've understood this, and I call this the mantra, which is the aspect of the Temenos that emerges as the area for change, is to be in the here and now. That's the most important thing. There is a transformation element for the individual and for the organization, which is about the future. There is an attraction of regret and, and denial, which is more about the past, the challenge is to stay in the present. The here and now is where the temenos happens. 
The Temenos also has safe and unsafe zones, and I'll talk more about it as I go into the here and now advanced series concept of this. And finally, pay attention to the dagger that's on the right-hand side bottom. That's the key for transformation. To go into a Temenos of transformation and to go into a moment of transformation, there is a dagger that's available for you. The way I have noticed transformation happen is that individuals lean into this dagger. The dagger is the entryway in the, from the present into the future. Moving on. Going back to the influences mantra, we're talking about three things. What does the mantra compose of? There is a here and now concept, the ability of the archetype to stay, and then there is the story of the archetype. Among the archetypes that we studied, we probably studied a dozen archetypes the last time, the key archetype to focus on is Tiresias or hybrid, part man, part woman, part machine, part animal, and part everything. Hybrid is a, a way for me to explain to you that the true change agent of this world will be a true subset of this universe. That's how the transformation will happen. Then let's look at the key dynamic of the archetype. That's supplication. I define uh, supplication as the hybrid archetype being a part of the larger container or the collective unconscious and creating actions, words, uh, stories that are in resonance with the larger temenos. And he does that or she does that by offering what I call a supplication, a, a sort of offering of change to the container. Once again, quick recap. Um, we're talking about the influences mantra, which is to bring everything together. There is an aspect of staying in the here and now. There is an aspect of the key archetype or Tiresias, the hybrid. And there is an aspect of the key dynamic or supplication. I want to talk about a great client of mine, Media Temple. I call them the moment of transformation container. This was an organization which I think I brought everything together. And it really gave me a way to bring all the platforms of the Temenos together. Another uh, great client of mine is Winn-Dixie. This is the Pharmacy Warehouse Project. And here, the, the key aspect of Temenos that I dove deep into was the clean slate uh, container. Once again, I want to just lay out the, the flow of the Temenos lab. It's a three-day residential lab that I do in Kaiser Ridge. Uh, look up kaiserridge.com. It's Cliff Kaiser's place, a, a, f a favorite of mine. We do it every month on the third Friday. Email us at pioneers at visiontemenos.org. Mindy will pick it up and respond to you immediately. For those of you viewing this video series, that means you have to view all the video series, answer a few questions, I'll offer a discount of $500 on the standard monthly lab rate and a $1,000 discount on the Temenos Academy, which is held twice a year, May and December. Once again, email Mindy at pioneers at visiontemenos.org. Thanks a lot. That's my friend Jim Rainey from Winn-Dixie. Thank you very much. See you again soon.